been your normal morning across Russia, that is for sure. Have a look at this. Burning objects raining down from the sky. A meteorite bursting through the atmosphere over Russia, injuring hundreds of folks on the ground. On February 15th, 2013, a meteor impacted Earth's atmosphere and exploded near Chelyabinsk, Russia. The biggest meteor strike in many generations, the impact damaged buildings and injured over 1,000 people. Hours after the meteor struck, UA astronomer Eric Christensen, director of the Catalina Sky Survey, visited Flandro Science Center to provide more information on the recent impact and how it relates to the science of asteroids, meteors, and near-Earth objects. This morning we woke up to the news of a large event of, a, of an asteroid impact that, was, that took place over a place called Chelyabinsk in Russia. This is the largest impact since uh, the 1908 Tunguska event, which also coincidentally happened over, over Russia. Uh, estimates now are that this was about a 15 meter object that entered the Earth's atmosphere and detonated at an altitude of 15 to 20 kilometers. So this object was about 15 meters in diameter. Um, as a sort of reference, we're, we're here in the Flandreau Planetarium. The width of the dome is about 50 feet, which is approximately 15 meters. So this object is, would completely fill the Flandreau dome and probably even stick out the roof. This, this was a, a large object <laughs> for a human scale. On a, on a sort of a scale of the, of the solar system and near-Earth objects, this is a relatively small near-Earth object. Uh, a 15 meter object, um, I, I don't think we've, we've seen that in our recorded history, certainly in, in the modern civilization where we have modern recording devices. Uh, this event was kind of remarkable in the fact that everybody has a cell phone camera now, so within minutes of this event we have images on YouTube. Well today is also the flyby of the asteroid uh, 2012 DA14. Um, it's pure coincidence. It's a good illustration, however, that uh, near-Earth space is pretty busy. We, we often think that, you know, if, if there's not an asteroid in the news, that it's just a pretty quiet place. We're revolving around the sun, nothing much happens, but the Earth is constantly being bombarded. So the, the total effort to discover and track near-Earth asteroids um, by surveys like the Catalina Sky Survey, Space Watch Survey, also located here at the Lunar and Planetary Lab, has resulted in uh, about 10,000 near-Earth asteroids that have known catalogued orbits. And these asteroids range in size from that big around to many kilometers in, in diameter. Well, the OSIRIS-REx mission run out of the U of A here uh, is a mission that will go to a near-Earth asteroid, pick up a sample, and come back. OSIRIS-REx will really uh, uh, complete the picture, I guess, of the remote sensing observations and then bringing back a, a, a sample of this pristine material. So thinking about impacts, one thing that you need to know about an object, uh, if, if you think it might impact you, is what it's made of. Our understanding uh, is really kind of incomplete, so sample return missions like OSIRIS-REx uh, will really help us sort of bring together what we see in our telescopic data and then what's, what's really out there.